Hi, I'm Corey. I'm Jacob. And we're living at Diz. We're here for some merch. It must be Friday. But we're in a different location today. We're at Tatooine Traders. Ready to merch some Star Wars stuff. We have our Star Wars hats on. We're ready to go. Let's go. So, you can enter through this entrance, but the other entrance is actually when you complete Star Tours up there. We haven't focused on this store in a while. Let's look at some Star Wars merch. Start here, bro. Go along. There's a lot of new stuff here. $64.99 gets you the Crush the Rebellion flannel shirt. Flannel? Hey, man. You can use that in many places in the country right now. Is there anything on the other side? The Evil Empire. $64.99. Look at this one. Ooh. Darth Vader's helmet made up of words. Oh, oh, oh. One of my favorite. I can't say the word impressive without saying most impressive. So a bunch of Star Wars sayings. What do you think, bud? No, I am your father. It is your destiny. I have you now. So that's pretty cool. $34.99 or $27.99? What do we think? The first merch price guess of the week. It may be free because there are no tags. This print is from A New Hope given new life with this different piece of artwork. $36.99. Basic Star Wars backpack? Non-basic Star Wars backpack. Which would you choose? That's probably a dumb question, huh? Neither would make sure. How functional is it on the inside? Is it very functional? Or is it just like wide open? Well, what is your guess? My guess is mostly wide open with a few pockets. It's like a lounge fly. No, What's it, inside it the is. backpack? It is. Oh, it is lounge fly. It actually is lounge fly. Okay. And it is mostly wide open, isn't it? You can open it on the inside. Yeah, open it up with the assist of your mom. Oh, I was right. Mostly wide open with one pouch. Not super functional, but very fashionable. It's a backpack. How least functional can it get? You sacrifice function for style. First there was Baby Yoda, now there's Baby R2. Aww. Isn't he cute? Oh, and little R2s. They look like digital R2s. $40 for this. 40, what are you going to fit in here? 40 oh. bucks. You can't, even smit, you can't even fit a large cell phone in that. 40 bucks. Wow. We showed the Baby Yoda one down there last, last week and also... We've got the Wicket. That Wicket is really cute too. Also lounge fly. Ooh, he's soft. It's on the inside. You think that's real Ewok fur? Probably, huh? This is Jill's cell phone. Oh. Jill's cell phone. Just about fits it. But it is super cute. It is. Oh, yub nub. Yub nub. Cheapa, yub nub. I don't know, I'm trying to sing. In Ewokies. Really cute. Really cute. Dun, 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 Hey, you know you have a good hat when you bought your hat, like, what? How long ago did we buy that hat? Because we're both sporting that hat today. And it's still for sale. I must have eyeballed that hat for like a year. That is not for sale anymore, Tammy said. Really? Can you confirm that? Oh, you don't see him? Could be sold out, but 
I'll no? take your word for it. They were in the outlets, remember? Oh, that's right. They, we have seen them at the outlets, and Tammy always has her pulse on the merch of Disney World. So this is kind of a collection with the, with the galaxy look to it. Rule the Galaxy Collection. That's also $36.99. That's $44.99, and you get less of a shirt. It's cut off. It's from the Hurry Universe um, Disney Parks Collection. Yeah, right? I see two style shorts, too. You got the short shorts with the Falcon in the corner. $34.99 and the long board shorts with the Star Wars logo. What are those, like 44? I don't even know. Those are also free. Aw, oh, so festive. Christmas Porg. So, so cute. <laughs> Three more shirts. Fed up. The child. And may the force be with you. I like this one. This one's been around for a while. I only fly solo. The force is strong in my family. That's nice. For $24.99, that's not bad. For $24.99. Jacob owns these. You got those when you were about, what, five years old? I don't remember. You should still wear them to the park. And I have that all the way up there. And you do. He has that vintage. Can we call it vintage? It is older. It is older. It's that trinket where you hit the button and it turns colors and R2-D2 makes noises. And those spin. His head spins fast and he's like, what? way close. I love fun socks and you've got those semi furry it's like it's like Chewbacca is shedding right it looks like he's shedding like there's only That's a little nice. bit of fur on him just a little can I feel it oh that is super soft though that is super soft I like this one too no price but I think they're typically like $16.99 if we turn this one around there we go Vader and a stormtrooper I would wear that. For the tiny ones, $17.99 there. And this one is really, really cute. This is something like I would wear when I was younger. Retro, retro. As well as this one. I really like this shirt, bud. When you were younger, I would have bought something like that for you. Really cute. Really? Yeah, this is really cute. I mean, look at it. Even R2's arms would be your arms which is neat, and um, $48.99 though. I wouldn't buy it for that. That's kind of a sick design. Look at it. That is sick. I like that. That's for the little ones as well. I like that shininess. I'd wear that. $48.99. $39.99. If you're into hats that are a little plainer, it's a really cool uh, baby Yoda for $27.99. This is really cute for the tiny ones as well with Star Wars on the side. That is $39.99. That looks good on you. That looks really good. Anything in the back? Nothing in the back. We always love to play with the twin-sided sequins. Twin? Yeah. Or two-sided. Two we always like to play with the two-sided sequins. Does it turn into anything else? Oh, Duh. I like that. So it turns into the rebel sign or the imperial sign. Tough to see on camera, but that one's much easier to see. Like it, love it, live it. The lightsaber station is open and this is what you have to do. It looks like you have to pick your parts and they will put it together for you. It takes away some of the fun but you can still make a lightsaber. Here are the newest Star Wars ones. You have a first order. The child is really cute. And this is one I haven't seen yet from Resistance, I guess. The Resistance. If you collect vehicles like we do, they do have the Star Tours just about to say we need that. vehicle, and um, we might need that for our collection. How much is it? Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. dollars That's actually pretty good huh keep it in your hand buddy baby Yoda pins abound look at this I like this one because it's rubber and it's kind of 3d ish you can feel the texture 
Um, so, very, very nice there. Anybody that's followed us for the entire life of this channel knows that I love figurine sets. Like and one. look, Mando set. The no, deluxe figurine. IG-88. In all of them. Yeah. $49.99 isn't bad for this mega figurine set. You get a little bit of everything from the Star Wars galaxy. Yeah. Yeah, because if you buy these individually, you're talking like $10 minimum per figure. So this is a steal. Normally only found in Batu, we're starting to see some of the handmade plushies hit out here with the stormtroopers and Kylo Ren. I'm gonna get that. This is like an all Star Wars. Finn. Like, yep. So Katana. Yeah, but like this is this is something that I think should be exclusive to Galaxy's Edge. I agree. No need to put it out here. Mm -hmm. People will make it over there. Yeah. Um, and here are your shoulder plushies. 1999. You have the Porg that came out first and also Baby Yoda. There's also a whole pre-made lightsaber and weapon wall. Of course, all plastic. It's not going to be the um, really nice ones you find in Batu, but definitely good for the little ones to play around and really lightsaber fight. Here's that blanket pillow combo we've shown before, and in my opinion, one of the best baby Yodas to get, and for the price, $24.99 for this. I love him. He looks the most accurate. I love the look of his face. And he stares at mom under the fireplace all night. And it scares her, but it's Baby Yoda, man. Baby Yoda. Do you think they'll come out with Baby Yoda the Spit Up Edition? With some blue hair. You spoiler. That's a spoiler alert if you haven't seen the most recent episode. Look, bud, there's so many different figurine sets, which I would love to have them all. But there's just a lot of figurine sets. This is the toy area. We used to get these types of Disney princesses and stuff like that for you guys to play in the tub, remember? And now there's, this is this is new, a thousand piece wanted poster. And it says unknown species, isn't that, in, isn't that interesting? I kinda wanna build that. Yeah, unknown species. Jillian likes bucket hats. If you were to get a bucket hat, that would be the one, in my opinion. Ah, uh, yes. It's Star Wars Santa. Party time, Christmas fun. Let's just look at the print here. This is a brand new thing to this year. Festive, some holly leaves there and berries, and some different um, Star Wars character heads. Select ornaments are available in Tatooine Traders, as well as this beautiful shirt. Lots of new shirts today. Spirit Jersey Central when it comes to Star Wars. We've got Tatooine, Endor, and what is that one? Is that... Oh! That one's really cool. That is new and cool. That is new and cool. And I own quite a few myself. This one is very, very cool. It's one of the most. As a spirit jersey owner and lover, owner of a few different kinds, a few different festival ones, that one is very, very cool. It's one of the most distinct and different spirit jerseys that Disney has ever put out, and I really, really like it. I think it's super cool. You know, I have to say that Boba Fett is one of my absolute favorite characters in the Star Wars universe. and uh, very underrated. Yeah, that's a pretty neat shirt right there. There are your two choices of the unknown species <laughs> bags and uh, some really great collectibles over here. Of course, salute to Carrie Fisher. You can never get that signature again. R.I.P. Princess. There we go. Tatooine Traders has been merged. There was a lot of good stuff in there. Some new stuff too that we haven't seen yet. Lots of shirts. And um, I love that Mandalorian figurine set. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, and we did get the um, 
the vehicle, the Star Tours, to add to our collection of Star Wars vehicles at home. So with that said, here at Tatooine Traders, right next to Star Tours, I'm Corey. I'm Jacob. In where? Living in Div. We'll see you in the parks.